Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Kim. And I'm Zach. And we're from Hunger for Technologies. Awesome. So every Wednesday at one, uh, we do WebEx Wednesdays. If you're not from around here, it's kind of our thing. Uh, Wednesdays are just for WebEx. We don't do anything else in the office or Kim doesn't do anything else at home. We just prepare for this all day. Um, we do this because every organization has a need to host virtual meetings, virtual events, uh, virtual groups, uh, anything like that, especially right now. Um, so today we're going to be continuing our troubleshooting WebEx series, um, and we're going to be talking about audio. So let's dive into audio. There are a lot of things to cover with audio. I'm going to be a hypocrite at one point. Uh, I'm going to be jealous of Kim at one point, but I'll explain all of that here in a second. So let's start with your mic. The number one way that you are going to relay the information in your meeting is with a mic. So I have a Bluetooth headset. Kim has a Yeti microphone, a blue Yeti from blue. So I am jealous you can hear it in my voice. If you've seen previous videos, I have one at home. I'm in the office, so I'm using this headset. Um, but with your mic, you want to make sure a couple different things. Is it charged? I have a Bluetooth headset. I need to make sure it's charged before every meeting um, or at least during the day because batteries wear down. Um, if you don't want to use a charged one, you might take Kim's actions and use headset, headphones. Personally, I am a big fan of headphones uh, that have wires because there's no battery. Um, and the only thing that can really cause them to not work is Kim's cat, Oscar Meow. <laughs> yeah. But he's not around right now, so she doesn't have to really worry about it. No. The cool thing about the headphones that Kim has is that it plugs right into the Blue Yeti if she wants to, or they plug into her computer. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I like those the most is because it is a surefire thing that they're going to work every single time. Um, that's my best practice. Like I said, I'm a hypocrite right now. I have a Bluetooth headset. You can plug those in. Though, I can. And let it you charge. Are so if you do yes. have a headset, make sure you have your charging cable because chances are is you can take that cable and plug it into your computer if it happens to run low while you're in a meeting. Yeah. So there, there are a lot of occurrences. I Be would prepared. Say that happen, but you need to be prepared. You need to be ready um, just in case anything does happen. Um, so your mic is one big thing. Um, your headset, actually let's go over some best practices in the mic, but I think everybody should know these. Don't blow into your mic. Um, I was you know. gonna do it and I'm like, no, don't do it. <laughs> it would pick don't it up a lot it. on yours. Um, <laughs> don't blow into your mic. Uh, you know, if, if you know that there's a setting that mutes things and unmutes things, make sure you have it unmuted. Uh, with this mic, if I put it up, it becomes muted. With Kim's mic, um, there's a button right on the front that mutes it and unmutes it. She also has a couple different settings. So use your mic before your first meeting. Um, understand what it does and understand what its capabilities are before you just use it. Um, you know, Kim, I think you know how to use that mic pretty easily from other instances, so you didn't have to learn. But I didn't know how to use it. I actually had this, told the team that I needed a better microphone because I didn't like it. And they were like, what's your problem? I had it <laughs> on the wrong settings here on the back, yep. so it was picking up a bunch of noise. So yeah. again, user error. I was like, what's the best microphone I can get? And they're like, oh, get a Yeti. And I was like, no, no, I don't like that. I have that. And they're like, are you kidding me? Well, what settings do you have it on? I was like, the ones that came with, I just plugged yeah. it in. And they're like, no, you, you need to fix those. Kind of fix it a little bit. Yeah. On what you're using it for. Yeah. Um, so Kim uses just a mic and then she uses headset, the headphones as well. I use a headset. Um, so kind of same as we talked about before, is your headset charged? Um, is it a wired one? Is there a wireless one? You kind of want to walk through these things and figure out what best fits you before you just go ahead and use it, right? Um, I personally enjoy my setup at home where I have a boom arm. The mic sits right here. I have a pair of headphones I put on. Perfect. That's what I love. Um, when I'm in the office and I'm a little bit more mobile, I use this headset because I might be talking to Ben if he's sitting at his desk. I might be talking to Kim if she's at her desk. You might see me down there at the other end of the, the hall or the office talking to somebody on my phone. I'll walk around. It's great for this scenario. I don't use this though when I'm in office and right, I have exactly. made the mistake of bringing it into the office, but it's not a good setup for being in the office. Yeah. 
So another thing you want to check out with your audio is your system settings. So in WebEx meetings, you do have the ability to choose um, different settings. So Kim, if she had so set up correctly, she could choose her Blue Yeti. She could choose mm -hmm. the microphone on her computer. Or if she plugged those headphones in, she could choose those. Make sure or you have the phone. Or your phone. Yeah. Um, so make sure you have the right choice selected for what you want to do. Um, because we know that the phone has better reception and the phone has better quality. Easier um, to troubleshoot too. Most people know yeah. how to use their own cell phone. Sometimes it can be tricky if you're going into your computer settings and permissions or figuring out why your internal microphone, if you don't have one, if you're just using your computer, why those are having problems. So. Yep. Um, so check your system settings. You might even have to dive into your Windows or Mac settings if you're on a laptop. Um, also check out your CPU usage. Kim ran into this a little bit earlier. Uh, we were trying to join a meeting together. Her CPU usage was really high. And what happened was it just froze everything. Yeah. No, no audio, no video. Also, nothing. for people who watched, we do have a troubleshooting audio WebEx Wednesday at 1. And Ben, who was on it, was having CPU usage. Yes. <laughs> he was having uh, problems with his antivirus software trying to do an update, I believe. Yep. So his CPU usage was in the high 90s. So his voice kept getting garbled up during that. So yep. making sure that you shut down any programs or to try yeah, and that's get that a, down. Yeah, this is going to be like a resounding message for troubleshooting. But if you have extra programs running in the background, you don't need those open. Um, uh, there's a statistic out there, statistic, I can't even say it. There is a statistic out there um, that during virtual events, virtual meetings, 90% of people are multitasking. Um, don't be that 90% for two reasons. Number one, pay attention to the meeting you're in. Yes, you've heard Bob talk about what he wants to talk about 15 times because it's a weekly event. You still need to listen. Number two, it does actually cause your computer harm and it can cause your video experience harm and your audio experience harm as well. Um, so don't be the 90%, be the 10% that pays attention. Internet be connection, present. be present. Internet connection, uh, audio is huge on this. Kim mentioned something earlier that we'll dive into, but internet connection, it is voice, it is video. We'll get into that later. It does go over the internet. So the more things you're using over the internet, the less internet you have. Right now, I'm completely over the internet. There is no way for me to, I mean, I can call on my phone and that's what Kim loves. Kim will call on her phone and do the call in feature or call me feature where it calls on your phone and then you get one less thing off of your internet if you're using cellular. It's great quality. People can hear you. You can use your AirPods. You can use if the you headphones drop that you have. you by any chance, you're still connected to the meeting, which is yep. nice. Yep, so you're still connected to the meeting. Um, and it doesn't use as much that internet. It doesn't normally happen. It's usually some kind of user error or if your yeah. internet happens to drop. Or if you have bad cell phone service, so don't use Sprint. <clears throat> but <laughs> otherwise, you know, there are things that you can do to make your voice sound better. Using your phone is one of them. Um, so a couple little tidbits for you to kind of take into consideration. Um, invest in a good headset or a mic. Um, that reason being, we are in virtual meetings all the time. Kim and I are in only virtual meetings, it feels like. Kim invested in a Blue Yeti. Um, I know Kim also has a ring light. Um, and Kim also has a really good webcam. So what you see is what you get. She has put money, she has put time into what she wants her setup to look like. She looks great on her video, her customers, her clients, coworkers. We all notice that. We all see that. And we're all like, perfect, great. Kim has great. Great, it's perfect. Um, as you can tell, her audio is phenomenal. She invested in a Blue Yeti, they're about $100. I have a Blue Yeti at home, her audio quality is probably better. If you get a $5 headphone headset combination from Five Below or the dollar store, you're gonna get what you pay for. Um, if you are in a ton, ton of meetings, that might be what you want. If you are in a ton of meetings, that might not be what you want. Um, here at the store or here at the office, I use Jabra headphones. Um, they work perfectly. I can hear everything totally fine. My voice is probably okay. Um, but I sacrifice some audio 
for what Kim has. Yeah. Um, just figuring out what fits yeah. your situation best, what your needs are, you know, you could spend so much money on getting the best of the best of the best. So I think the best thing is to figure out how much money you're willing to spend, how yep. good you need your audio to be. And then depending on when I'm in office, you know, do you need multiple setups and just kind of figuring some of yeah. those things out before you have a meeting to think yeah. about. So a couple things um, to kind of go over really quick um, with microphone and headset. Errors that we find are people don't plug them in the right way. They're not plugged in all the way. Um, we find that it's not charged all the way or it's not charged at all. <laughs> That's happened before to me. Um, and in my opinion, other people have different opinions. My opinion is wired is best. Um, like I said earlier, you have a stable connection. The only way that you can really sever that connection is if you cut it or something else is wrong. Um, that's my opinion. You might have a different opinion and that's totally fine. Um, in your system settings, make sure you have the right settings clicked. Make sure you have the right settings chosen. Uh, if Kim's using her Blue Yeti microphone, but it's chosen to use her speakers on her laptop, it won't work. And when she goes to a meeting, she won't hear anybody and people won't hear her. Same thing for me with my Jabra headset. Or um, it'll be bad because people are like, be what's wrong really with your bad. audio? And I'm like, I've yeah. got my mic plugged in. But again, user error. I'm either using, I have a Logitech uh, camera. It has audio on it, but if I'm not close enough to it, the audio doesn't pick up. Or my computer, the CPU usage, like the fan's pretty loud, so that'll cause problems. So making yep. sure that you have like the right thing clicked. Yep. Um, kind of piggybacking off what Kim just said, CPU usage. We went over it, but make sure your software, make sure any other apps are open, make sure they're closed if you're having problems with your audio. If people say you sound like a robot, turn turn that off, get rid of it, try and make it see if you can use your CPU the right way instead of like just bogging it down with Twitter and Chrome and Outlook. You don't need Outlook open while you're in a meeting. Well, sometimes you do. Um, if you're having internet issues, Kim, Take it over because, again, you love this feature. Plug it in. Use an Ethernet cable. Yep. But also for, like, audio. Like, what should they use for, like, phone calls and stuff like that? Using your phone is, a, is way better than... Yeah. Oh, I love to use my phone, too. I think phones are a great option, especially yeah. if you have the Call Me feature, which I think everybody who has meetings should have the Call Me feature. It makes it so easy. You type in your phone number, and it calls you. There we go. Super easy. Um, and you know, it's it's great. I know Ben, our coworker, uses it, I think, literally all the time. For every single call that he's on, he's on his phone using it as a microphone. So it's great. Um, and then finally, just to create a better video, just to create a better video. That's the next episode. To create a better audio experience. You want to invest in a good mic. Um, you want to invest in a good headset. Or sometimes you need to invest in both, just depending on what your needs are, where you're at, and what you're doing. Um, so that's kind of my takeaways on audio. Kim, do you have anything? No, I think that's a great list. No, perfect. So as always, if you're looking for full feature, free trial of WebEx, or you're a current customer, or say you want some trainings or you want trainings for your organization, reach out to us at info at hungerford.tech or to our website, hungerford.tech. Um, Next week's a lot of the same. We'll be covering more troubleshooting. Um, you might have heard me say it. We're going to be covering troubleshooting video. So join us next week. We appreciate it. I'm Zach. That's Kim. I'm Kim. <laughs> <laughs> From all of us at Hunger for Tech, we appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Bye.